With all that you carry here into this place, my friends, this morning, you are welcome. With all that you carry on your heart, whether you arrive here in this space with your heart overflowing with joy and passion and warmth and love, whether you arrive here with a mixed up heart that carries many different things on it, whether you arrive here with a heart that is broken and heavy, whether you arrive here not knowing quite how you are doing, whether you are still tired from one less hour of sleep than you are accustomed to, whether you're an early morning riser who is bright eyed already and rearing to go, no matter how you are this morning, I'm glad to see you. No matter how you are, you are called welcome here to our well, this place of community where we gather and we we bring all that is on our hearts. So no matter what you carry with you this morning, I invite you now, now is your time to examine that part of yours. And if you have a story, a joy, sorrow, or complex truth that must be named, that needs to be named in community now is your time to type it into our chat in 15 words or less. <clears throat> when you do, we'll read it aloud for you. I'll drop a stone into our well so that you know that you are seen and heard and loved. And if you'd like to, us to share your name, you can say from so-and-so, or if not, just, just don't type that. From Naomi, please send good vibes tomorrow while I have surgery to remove my medical port. For the need to be heard. For our little Puchon, Rafi, who is with us in spirit. Grateful for this community. From George, wishing a happy birthday to our son, Paul who celebrated his birthday this past week. A stone for the Rivera family. Joy for today's sunshine after yesterday's storm. Democratic freedoms. A stone please for flight connections. For all of those joys, sorrows, and complex truths, the ones that are still in process, the ones that I know all of you carry on your hearts, ones that words are not adequate for yet, or perhaps never will be. For all of you and for the power of community love, I put this stone into our well so that you know that you are all seen and heard 
valued and loved here. So the myriad different ways that the world breaks and blesses our hearts. I invite you to take some time now with me. A time of meditation, contemplation, imagination. I'm gonna invite you to let yourself settle into the place where you are to Put your feet flat on the floor. Feel yourself seated where you are seated and settle in. Maybe take a deep breath if you need to. Close your eyes if you'd like to. And allow or allow your gaze to settle upon something in the distance. Allow yourself to feel and be grounded and rooted in the rhythm of your breath right now for a moment. On this day, we remember that our lives <laughs> are so complex. And sometimes they can be so tiring, more tiring than just than what one less hour of sleep will do. Tiring at a deep heart and soul level. Sometimes in this world, we can feel as though we are stuck in an endless loop of crisis after crisis. Like our world is cracked, broken, and we are all tirelessly trying to fix those cracks to no avail. So this morning, I invite you to imagine with me. As you sit, imagine that you are yourself. An old, worn, much loved, much used wooden bucket. Perhaps you have heard this story before to imagine that you are a worn and well-loved wooden bucket used to carry water. That you have been carried up and down the side of a mountain every day for your whole life, many, many years, by an old wise person who carried you on their shoulder. And from your many years of use, you have sprung a leak, you have a crack in you, and each day as you go up and down the mountain and you're filled with water, your water begins to leak. At first it was just a small trickle and then it became a bit more. You could feel yourself emptying out into the world, trying to fill yourself, but never being able to do so. And you ask the wise person who carries you on their shoulder to fix you, to seal you. And they reply that they once tried. They tried many times over to seal your cracks. Sometimes we all feel broken, they say to you. Sometimes we all feel broken, like we cannot do what we wish we could do to meet the challenges of our world. 
But nonetheless, they tell you that you do not need your crack to be repaired, to be sealed. That it would be fruitless to try to seal all of your cracks. And you reply, but sometimes all of us are in need of renewal, so how can we find it? And you cry out to this universe, to this world, wondering why you can't just for one day have a nice full bucket. And the wise person who has been carrying you on their shoulders for years looks over to you and says, you have no idea, do you, how powerful your cracks are? You have no idea. And they ask you to open your eyes and to look out at the beauty of the world. And they point out to you the path that you have taken every day, the mountainside where you have traveled up and down every day. They point out to you that it is your cracks, the slow steady drip of the water leaking out of your bucket that has watered the side of the path every day. And all along that path, you now finally see as you open your eyes. Beautiful, vibrant, colorful rose bushes. And like all rose bushes, they are covered with many thorns. They can be dangerous. They can prick you and make you bleed. but they are so very beautiful. And they are exactly what this challenging complex world needs. And the wise person says to you, it is precisely the things that you thought made you broken. It is precisely your cracks that made you so powerful and so able to water this beautiful path, to let yourself break open to the world, to let yourself break open to the world and make it more beautiful. Your cracks were exactly what our world needs. Your cracks are exactly what our world needs. Sometimes we all feel broken. And sometimes we just need someone else who can help us to see ourselves a little bit differently. <laughs>